Good afternoon, everybody. So um, my name is Stéphane Suisse. I'm working in Sanofi Pasteur in Lyon, and I'm a social engineer. I ask you. Thank you. So uh, I'm working in social media monitoring project in Lyon in, um, in different uh, contexts. We are monitoring different diseases today, like dengue, like polio, um, flu. And we are also monitoring uh, uh, vaccinations to track information about this. Um, data is a key. And data is a key. And uh, this is a pyramid of the data where we are tracking, uh, we are trying to extract some value of this data. And we can consider different level with, uh, with passive monitoring, active surveillance. The process we have put in place try to, 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 to give more sense of uh, and to put in place data visualization to represent the information we can analyze it just after. So we have a process with different solutions to extract and to analyze at the end. Uh, and we apply this process to Twitter, where uh, Twitter is the main channel in the disease, when more than 50 <coughs> content pro, uh, come from Twitter. And here, for instance, we can extract some information but who is there, uh, the link, chair, and the different hashtags. And with the data visualization approach, we are trying to build some social graph like where we can visualize the interaction between the different accounts. We have also some hashtag graphs. It's really interesting to visualize the link between the hashtags and the content behind this. Social graph is a very powerful uh, tool to modelize uh, the interaction, the active interaction inside a social network. And we can apply this to Twitter to visualize the interaction between groups of people, people, and organization. But uh, we need to define some metrics to better understand what we are visualizing. Uh, and metrics can also be an answer to the question we have in mind, like who is there, who is involved in conversations, who is engaging the conversation, who is getting attention, who is center in the conversation. This is a small, uh, a small uh, benchmark about Twitter and the different diseases we have in mind uh, today. And dengue, we are going to focus on dengue. Dengue is, um, is a very hot topic for us with more around 60 to 7 tweets per day. Here we have a representation of the dengue activity of the quarter two in 2012, where at the center of the map you have all the people who have tweet, five tweets at least, without interaction with the people. And when you go on the periphery part of the graph, you see emerging clusters. The same map for the quarter two of this year, where we are, uh, you, you see different clusters coming from the different Latin America countries. And in the center of these uh, clusters, you have the health minister, for instance. And we have also Singapore clusters here. The same, but for the hashtags representation. Two hashtags uh, have a link when they are quoted in the same tweet, OK? And uh, we can learn a lot. 20% of the tweet uh, related to dengue have hashtags. So we can learn a lot about the key markers used by people. Website is also very uh, important to understand what are the most visible uh, websites and what are the source of the content. And basically, we have developed a solution to automatically map the website to a, a category. You have a snapshot of the, map of the solution. You see the share of voice, the different breakdown by country, again, Indonesia, and so on. And if you go in India, you see all the websites with the occurrence of site and all the articles and the occurrence of each article inside Twitter. Well, first conclusion about dengue for us today, <coughs> the activity is really concentrated inside clusters and localized. And uh, in the center of this cluster, you have ministers and strong connections with press media. And we have a huge entire play public which fills the space with no relationship with experts or people. And we are, uh, uh, we are working on a big project, we call it Break Dengue, which is trying to aggregate the social conversation about dengue and with a strong impact, to have a strong impact on the disease and uh, enable working community with different organizations. Another uh, topic for us which is really important is the vaccinations and vaccination and immunizations. So we are exploring today the way we can uh, perceive the vaccinations and perceive the sentiment analysis. Uh, first focusing here is uh, you see just the leader of uh, people who are the most integrated in the Twitter about vaccination. The graph is very bipolar with two poles with a small bridge and very few accounts between the two bridges. Okay. And this is very typical of the vaccination. And we are trying to, uh, to have a, a perception, visualization of the sentiment analysis. And we qualify all the tweets coming from the, the, the leaders of each cluster. And if you look at the, this uh, representation, this graph here, uh, you see here in blue, neutral and positive tweets, in red, negative tweets. And in gray, this is the uh, most uh, hottest uh, potatoes topic in, uh, in UK about uh, tuberculosis crisis for the badgers. Okay. So we have the capacity to visualize the activity. So all these graphs are 
available on our website and they are interactive so you can play with it and this is just what I will mention. Thank you.